Plus, awaiting, we, right now we're hearing that Rosa DeLauro is uh, addressing her supporters in New Haven for winning her 15th term to serve in the U.S. House of Representatives. And Joe Courtney, Democrat in the 2nd Congressional District, and Democrat Jim Himes in the 4th, have both won re-election to the House. All right, let's go hear uh, Rosa now speaking to supporters. There she is. And Sadie and Paula and Gus, all of which make life worth living. And it is really uh, so, so, so proud of all of them. And finally, I'd like to say a thank you to my extended family, my Connecticut staff, my Washington staff. They're all here tonight. Where are you guys, huh? Thank you, whoa. To my campaign staff, and a shout out to the fabulous Jimmy Tickey. Thank you. Uh, you, you, you know, the staff goes the extra mile. Their work makes a difference in people's lives. And I say to you all, you are indispensable. You care so much about the people of this community and of this state. And you demonstrate that every single day. And I am so grateful. I, they've heard me say this before. My name goes on the door, but you know all the work that they do uh, to make uh, life a better place for the people in our, in our state. So I'm so grateful uh, to all of you. To my friends here filling up this room tonight, this beautiful Schubert Theater, which I love, and you know my history with the Schubert Theater. As a very young girl, I danced on the stage of the Schubert Theater with the Phyllis Grandy School of Dance, all right. But you know, a little bit bittersweet, there's one person who is missing tonight. Uh, this is my very, very first election night without my mom, without Louisa DeLauro. She was the longest serving alder in New Haven history, and that's man or woman, my strongest supporter. And over the years, she would be up at five o'clock in the morning and at the polls uh, by six to make sure that everything was there. She danced at Bella Vista uh, to energize seniors. She walked the neighborhoods of New Haven. She knocked on the doors canvassing with me. She was and will always be my hero. Yeah. I, I always say the first race, I think people thought that they were voting for Louise DeLauro, and that was fine with me. It was okay. It got me across the finish line. So, and I am so grateful for her guidance and her inspiration. She taught me never to give up and never to take no for an answer. And I know that she and my dad are watching over me today. They taught me the value of hard work. And this year, our hard work, as we will see, I believe, later on, will be paying off. We do not have all of the results in yet. And you know how long it's been to get the results that we do have. Uh, but it's going slow tonight. But I think we will see some things that are clear. In the United States Senate, I am so glad to see Chris Murphy re-elected to the United States Senate. Chris is a national leader. He's a tireless advocate for our state, and he has promised to continue to take the lead on health care and on gun violence. We're waiting to hear what happens in the Capitol. Not yet there, too quick, too early to tell, but I think we can say very effectively that Ned Lamont and Susan Bicewitz ran a great campaign. They focused on the issues that are important in the people's lives, and they aspired to achieve great things for our state without compromising our values. And so I believe that in the long run tonight, that President Trump's candidate will be repudiated. So in the House of Representatives, again, it's not all there yet, but I'm anticipating serving with Johanna Hayes from the 5th Congressional District. 
What a dynamo she is. And so I believe that we will send a delegation to Washington from Connecticut fully committed to all of our values. And I believe we do so at a moment of unprecedented challenge and opportunity. I'm waiting to get back. I know some of this, the House, uh, uh, Senate House raises Kara Rochelle. I know one, I don't know many of the others, but again, I am hopeful that we will have uh, a strong showing and a, uh, have a majority uh, in the State House and that we pick up what we need in order to have a majority in the, in the State Senate as well. Uh, so we've got great candidates. We've got uh, Gary Winfield, Marty Looney, Al Paolillo, Juan Candelario from New Haven. Where are you, Juan? Robin Porter, Tony Walker, Rowan Lamar, Pat Dillon. All right, and there champions, you have it, live coverage of 3rd District Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro addressing her supporters tonight after being reelected to a 15th term in Congress. 30